Jellyfish are fascinating creatures that have intrigued and captivated people for centuries. From their otherworldly appearance to their mysterious behavior, jellyfish continue to spark curiosity in both scientists and the general public. In this article, we will explore some of the most common questions about jellyfish, such as what they eat, how they reproduce, and where they live. We will also delve into the intriguing world of jellyfish facts and dispel some common myths about these creatures. So, let's dive into the world of jellyfish and discover more about these mesmerizing creatures. What are jellyfish and how do they live? Jellyfish are free-swimming, gelatinous invertebrates that belong to the phylum Cnidaria, which also includes corals, sea anemones, and hydroids. They are found in oceans and seas all around the world and come in a wide range of sizes, from just a few millimeters to over 2 meters in diameter. Jellyfish live in the water column either floating or swimming using their umbrella-shaped bell and trailing tentacles. They are often referred to as jellies due to their gelatinous texture and appearance. Jellyfish are mostly carnivorous, and they feed on small planktonic animals, fish, and sometimes other jellyfish. Their tentacles are lined with tiny, stinging cells called nematocysts, which they use to capture prey and defend themselves from predators. Jellyfish have a simple nervous system and lack a brain and central nervous system. Despite this, they are highly adaptable creatures that have evolved to survive in a wide range of marine environments, from shallow coastal waters to the deep sea. What do jellyfish eat? Jellyfish are carnivorous and feed on a variety of small animals such as plankton, fish eggs, larvae, and small fish. They use their tentacles to capture their prey, which are lined with tiny stinging cells called nematocysts. When a small animal comes into contact with the tentacles, the nematocysts release a toxin that paralyzes the prey, making it easier for the jellyfish to consume it. Some larger species of jellyfish, such as the lion's mane jellyfish, can also feed on larger prey such as small fish and crustaceans. However, their diet mostly consists of small planktonic animals that they capture using their tentacles. Jellyfish are opportunistic feeders and will eat whatever prey is available in their environment. They are also known to compete with other marine animals for food resources, which can have an impact on the overall ecosystem. Are all jellyfish poisonous? Not all jellyfish are poisonous, but some species of jellyfish can deliver a painful sting that can be toxic to humans and other animals. The severity of a jellyfish sting depends on the species of jellyfish, the size of the individual, and the sensitivity of the person who has been stung. Some of the most venomous species of jellyfish include the box jellyfish, the Portuguese man-of-war, and the Irukandji jellyfish, which are found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. These jellyfish have tentacles that can extend several meters and are equipped with powerful nematocysts that can inject venom into their prey or anyone who comes into contact with their tentacles. It's important to note that not all jellyfish that can deliver a painful sting are necessarily venomous, and not all jellyfish that are venomous are deadly to humans. However, if you're stung by a jellyfish, it's important to seek medical attention immediately, especially if you experience any severe symptoms such as difficulty breathing or a rapid heartbeat. What is the sting of a jellyfish like, and how can you treat it? The sting of a jellyfish can range from mild discomfort to severe pain, depending on the species of jellyfish, the size of the individual, and the sensitivity of the person who has been stung. The sting can cause a variety of symptoms, including redness, swelling, itching, and a burning or stinging sensation. If you've been stung by a jellyfish, the first step is to get out of the water and remove any tentacles that may be stuck to your skin. You can use a pair of tweezers or the edge of a credit card to gently scrape off the tentacles without touching them directly, as this can cause further nematocyst discharge and more pain. Next, you should rinse the affected area with vinegar or salt water to neutralize the venom and prevent any remaining nematocysts from discharging. Freshwater can actually cause the nematocysts to release more venom, so it's important to avoid using it. After rinsing, immerse the affected area in hot water about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius for at least 20 minutes, which can help to relieve pain and inactivate any remaining venom. Over-the-counter pain medication, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, can also be taken to help manage pain. If you experience severe symptoms, such as difficulty breathing, chest pain, or irregular heartbeat, seek medical attention immediately, as these can be signs of a severe allergic reaction. How long do jellyfish live? The lifespan of jellyfish varies greatly depending on the species. 
some species of jellyfish, known as immortal jellyfish, are capable of reverting back to their juvenile form after reaching maturity, which allows them to potentially live forever in theory. However, most species of jellyfish have a much shorter lifespan. The average lifespan of most jellyfish species is around a few months to a year. Some species, such as the moon jellyfish, have a lifespan of around six months, while others, like the lion's mane jellyfish, can live for up to a year or more. Jellyfish are also highly influenced by environmental factors such as water temperature, food availability, and predation, which can affect their lifespan. In general, larger jellyfish tend to have a longer lifespan than smaller ones. What are the different types of jellyfish? Jellyfish are a diverse group of marine animals that come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. While there are thousands of different species of jellyfish, some of the most common types include the moon jellyfish, box jellyfish, lion's mane jellyfish, comb jellyfish, and upside-down jellyfish. Moon jellyfish are small, translucent jellyfish with a bell-shaped body and short tentacles. They are found in coastal waters around the world and are known for their gentle sting. Box jellyfish are one of the most venomous jellyfish species in the world and are found primarily in the waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. They have a cube-shaped bell and long, slender tentacles that can cause a painful and sometimes deadly sting. Lion's mane jellyfish are the largest known species of jellyfish, with some individuals having a bell diameter of over 8 feet. They are found in cold waters of the Arctic and Northern Atlantic Oceans and can deliver a painful sting. Cone jellyfish are a different type of jelly-like organism that belong to the phylum Tenophora. They have a gelatinous, transparent body and rows of cilia, tiny hair-like structures, that they use for movement. They are commonly found in open waters around the world. Upside-down jellyfish are a unique species of jellyfish that spend most of their time upside down on the ocean floor, with their tentacles pointing upwards. They are commonly found in shallow tropical waters and have a mild sting. Each species of jellyfish has its own unique characteristics and plays an important role in marine ecosystems. While some species are harmless, others can deliver a painful or deadly sting, so it's important to be aware of the risks associated with swimming in jellyfish-infested waters. Where do jellyfish live and how do they adapt to their environment? Jellyfish are found in oceans all over the world, from the cold waters of the Arctic and Antarctic to the warm, tropical waters of the equator. They are typically found in coastal areas, but some species can be found in open ocean waters as well. Jellyfish are also able to adapt to different types of environments, which allows them to survive in a wide range of conditions. One way that jellyfish are able to adapt to their environment is by changing their size and shape. Some species of jellyfish are able to change their body shape in response to changing water currents, which allows them to move more efficiently through the water. Others are able to change their size in response to changes in food availability, growing larger or smaller depending on the availability of prey. Another way that jellyfish adapt to their environment is by developing specialized features that help them survive in different types of conditions. For example, some species of jellyfish have long, slender tentacles that allow them to capture prey from a distance. Others have developed bioluminescent features that allow them to attract prey or deter predators. Jellyfish are also able to adapt to changes in their environment over time through a process known as evolution. As the environment changes, the jellyfish that are best adapted to those changes are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on their traits to future generations. Overall, jellyfish are highly adaptable creatures that are able to survive in a wide range of environments thanks to their unique features and ability to evolve over time. How do jellyfish reproduce? Jellyfish reproduce in a variety of ways, depending on the species. Some species reproduce sexually, while others reproduce asexually. Sexual reproduction typically involves the release of eggs and sperm into the water, where they meet and fertilize. In some species, the fertilized eggs develop into tiny, free-swimming larvae known as planulae. These larvae eventually settle on the ocean floor and develop into polyps, which are the stationary stage in the jellyfish life cycle. The polyps then reproduce asexually by budding, where new jellyfish are formed from small growths on the side of the polyp's body. In other species of jellyfish, reproduction occurs entirely asexually through a process called strobilation. During strobilation, the jellyfish polyp undergoes a series of divisions and forms a stack of small disks called ephyrae. 
These ephyrae eventually separate from the polyp and develop into fully formed jellyfish. Some species of jellyfish are also able to switch between sexual and asexual reproduction depending on environmental conditions. For example, if food is plentiful, they may reproduce sexually to take advantage of the available resources. If food is scarce, they may switch to asexual reproduction to produce more offspring more quickly. Can jellyfish survive outside of water? Most species of jellyfish are not able to survive outside of water for very long. This is because they are primarily water-based creatures that rely on water to support their bodies and carry out essential biological processes. When a jellyfish is out of water, it can quickly become dehydrated, which can lead to tissue damage and even death. In addition, many species of jellyfish have specialized structures, such as stinging cells and tentacles, that are designed to function in a watery environment and may not work properly on land. However, there are some species of jellyfish that are able to survive brief periods out of water. For example, the upside-down jellyfish is known to be able to survive for short periods of time in the moist environments of tide pools and shallow waters. This is because these jellyfish are able to absorb oxygen through their thin, delicate tissues and are able to tolerate brief periods of dehydration. How do jellyfish navigate and sense their surroundings? Jellyfish have a relatively simple nervous system compared to many other animals, but they are still able to navigate and sense their surroundings using a variety of mechanisms. One way that jellyfish navigate is by using a sensory structure called a statocyst, which is located near the base of their bell. The statocyst is a small, fluid-filled chamber that contains a tiny, dense object called a statolith. When the jellyfish moves, the statolith moves as well, causing sensory cells in the statocyst to detect changes in the jellyfish's orientation and movement. This information is then transmitted to the jellyfish's nervous system, allowing it to adjust its movements as needed. Jellyfish are also able to sense light and darkness using specialized cells called ocelli, which are located around the rim of their bell. Ocelli are simple eyes that can detect the presence or absence of light, allowing jellyfish to orient themselves in relation to the sun or other sources of light. They are also able to sense the presence of other animals in their vicinity using specialized cells called ropalia, which are located around the rim of their bell. Ropalia contain clusters of sensory cells that are able to detect chemical and physical cues in the water, such as the presence of food or potential predators. This information is then used to help the jellyfish avoid danger and locate sources of food. Thank you for watching this video about jellyfish. I hope you learned something new and fascinating about these incredible creatures. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more interesting content about marine life. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section.